So I'm not really one for vlogging, but uh, it's a bit of a different day for me. This time on a Saturday morning, I'm usually uh, down the gym pumping iron, but today I'm off to pick up a eBay auction. Um, I thought I would take you along for the ride and show you what I got. Um, I thought I'd also put together a little video of my car boot hunting and uh, charity shop finds. So uh, yeah, let's uh, set off on the road and go and pick up my winnings. <laughs> So today I uh, told you that uh, I was going to pick up an eBay auction and uh, I thought I would share what I got. This is um, most of the stuff today but uh, I'm not going to go too in depth, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, overview. Um, but yeah, this is the next step in my uh, photography evolution and uh, one of uh, many new projects on the go. So yeah, I'll just show you what I got. So today I went and picked up this little lot. So what we have here is a Durst Enlarger. This is the Durst A600, black and white Enlarger. It also came with lots of trays, tongs, an easel, and a timer. In this same auction, there was all of this stuff which We have cylinders for measuring chemicals and then the best bit, lots of lovely film <laughs> including these two bulk loaders and they both have film in. We have T-Max 100 and this one apparently is Kodak Tri-X 400 so uh, yeah looking forward to uh, shooting and playing with that a lot that was today's uh, win but um, I also picked up the other day this Durst enlarger it's a 370 black and white enlarger and some more trays so yeah pretty uh, good days uh, hunting which I was really fortunate to win the um, the auction and uh, I managed to get the lot for 20 pounds which is even better so yeah my next uh, project on the go is going to be learning how to do data in prints <laughs> so yeah as I mentioned uh, previously I uh, I'm looking forward to uh, my next stage in photography, which is uh, taking something like this bad boy and uh, learning to print. I, um, I've done digital prints before, but uh, data in prints is going to be something new and exciting. So looking forward to that. But yeah, as I mentioned before, I um, thought because the weather's a bit pants today, I would do a uh, video on some of my car boot hunts and uh, local finds. So. Um, to go along with the win on the enlarged setup and dartering kit, I found a book um, called the Dart Room Handbook, which uh, 
will go fantastic with this and go a long way to helping me learn how to print my own photos with the Dorian kit I mentioned before in the video but uh, I'm interested to uh, see what's in the bulk loaders and uh, try these films um, the guy did mention that it was probably 10 years ago that he uh, he did photography so if you guys um, have any experience on this film whether it will still be okay being 10 years out of date uh, but what there was is some um, bulk load cartridges looking at the leader it's actually a different film stock to what's in the bulk loaders so I have no clue what these are but one thing I might do is if any of you guys are interested um, put a message down in the uh, the comments panel and I'll mail you out a roll so you can have a test and you tell me what's on it <laughs> there was also uh, some T-Max films so looking forward to shooting those so yeah on to the uh, car boot hunts um, I've done a couple just recently when the weather's been okay I kind of like get up in the morning and I look out the window and if uh, it's not been raining then I'll head out um, if it's been raining then I know that you're not going to get much stuff there and people probably pack up early so uh, over the last few weeks I've kind of like been to several car boots um, the first one I went to it was a bit dry there was one camera on the stand well actually two cameras but he wanted too much money for the other one so uh, this is the uh, the other one I got came in this nice little case and I don't really shoot range finders but this one was looked quite nice it was a uh, Canonet which has got a nice uh, f1.9 lens on it um, it looks to be in nice condition one of the strange features about this camera is the um, advanced lever is actually on the bottom and uh, it seems to have a selenium cell so again I don't know much about this camera um, but I'm interested to uh, run a roll through it and see what we got the uh, next car boot that I went to I uh, saw this on the stand and uh, the guy wanted three pounds for it so I thought why not it looks quite cool and uh, we'll get a pack of film and we'll see what happens I have no, no idea about this um, I don't know if it, what kind of film it shoots whether it shoots uh, the 600 film or whether it's SX70 film but uh, we'll uh, have a look and have a play I'm sure when you open it it does actually tell you so we'll open that and have a look um, on the next car boot that I went to it was actually one of these which is the uh, and camera which is pretty similar to the button camera so uh, <laughs> there's a bonus and again three pounds picked up a couple of books while I was there so uh, I don't know we'll have a look through those and see if they're any good on another uh, car boot I uh, saw this lurking in a box and uh, it turned out to be a Pentax ME Super seems to be in reasonable condition I think there's a bit of fogging on the lens so I don't know whether there's uh, fungus on the lens or whether it just needs a clean but uh, I'll probably give it a bit of a clean run a test roll through it and then I might pass it on I might even pass it on to one of you guys on the same car boot on a different stall I noticed this in the box and it's a uh, battery grip and it's actually for the ME Super so that was a bit of a bonus in the same uh, one as this I came across some filters so these are a range of coking filters and it came there was also an adapter there and funnily enough the adapter ring is actually the same size thread uh, lens on the um, Nikon FM2N so uh, I'll actually use these on the, the Nikon on that same thing as the uh, battery grip and the coking filters 
there was a uh, point and shoot it's nothing special just a, a Rico focus <laughs> yeah just a Rico it's got a uh, 35 millimeter f3.5 lens on it so this might actually be for one of the challenges that I do again I don't know anything about it whether it's any good I just saw the name Rico and thought meh why not it was a 50p so <laughs> and then uh, I went to a local charity shop and uh, asked if they had any cameras in they said they were going to have a look so yeah they came downstairs and came down with this again another Pentax ME Super but um, the one thing I did notice about this and I don't know if you can see it on the uh, screen come on focus is it has a um, f1.4 lens which uh, is a bonus so the one on this one is uh, the standard f1.7 lens and this one being the 1.4 is actually uh, quite good what I'm actually going to do with this is I've got a K1000 without a lens so I'm going to actually put this lens on the K1000 um, because I have actually four of these ME super bodies so uh, I don't know if this one works I haven't tested it but uh, if anyone wants an ME super body let me know I have a few spare ones so yeah um, just wanted to uh, do a quick video while the weather's pants and uh, just show you some of the stuff that I uh, I collect and, and pick up and nothing special but uh, to me it's part of the hunt and part of the fun of being a camera collector and photographer and someone who's into film especially you know picking up some dark room kit and having some actual film to shoot is, is brilliant and being black and white I can actually process it at home and hopefully soon print at home so thanks for watching again see you soon so oh yeah I forgot um, in this video I'm gonna give a camera away um, it's nothing special don't get excited but I have three Polaroids and that's four not three so three Polaroids and I'm gonna give one away and some more in another video so if you want a Polaroid camera I'll send it out to you and you can pick from three so I have Polaroid 600 or Polaroid one stop or Polaroid P these are cameras I picked up from uh, local car boot hunts and stuff and they're things that I don't want don't need I have too many cameras and uh, yeah so if anyone wants one just drop a message in the uh, comments and I'll pick someone at random and mail it out to you cheers